everybody. Welcome to my cozy cottage. I hope you're all doing great. Thank you so much for stopping by. I so appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. So today I have a special treat. I am doing a collaboration video. And our host is Antoinette from Decorating Ant's Place. And our co-host is Indiana Jones. So I hope you check out their channels and the playlist. All their information will be in my description box. I love Shabby Chic. My take on shabby chic is very feminine and like a vintage look. I like the pale soft colors in it and lots of like pink and I picture ruffles and lace and pearls and all those type of pretty, pretty things. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoy my video. I'd also like to say a quick thank you to some people that are always just so kind and leaving comments to me and I just so appreciate you. So I just wanted to say thank you to Rosie and Lynn and Antoinette for always leaving comments and Melanie. I see your comments all the time and I so appreciate you taking the time to leave me a comment. I'd love for those of you out there watching today to leave a comment for this video and let me know which display you like better because I set up two today. So with all that being said, Let's get on with the video. Here we go. This is one of the items that's going to be in my display. I just love this sweet little frame. It's called Miss Willoughby and it was by George Romney. This is a copy. What I loved about this is the shape of the frame and to me this said shabby chic, the soft pale colors and the muted tones. So this will be in my display. This sweet little lamp will be added to my display. I found this years ago at a thrift store and I just thought it was so sweet. By itself it's adorable, but when I add it to a shabby chic display, it really shines. favorite part of this display. These little vintage soft blush pink teacups. This sweet little cupcake stand will also be added. Here's a close-up of the detail of the little dragonfly, the butterfly. And this is it on its side. And here is what it looks like from this angle. Okay, so I've just placed just three of these items together. Now, in a little mini vignette, let's get over to see the big display. Here we go. Okay, so here is my little display set up. I put a teapot on a little glass pedestal. I added some soft pale roses with some lamb's ear below my little Miss Willoughby. And to the side of her is little sweet rose lamp. And I placed it on the cupcake pedestal to give it a little more height. In front of my vignette I set a sweet little table for two and I wanted to show this pretty little runner. It has a little detail with lace and little tiny roses and I thought it was perfect for shabby chic. Okay so here is my table for two in front of my little vignette. I placed a pink napkin on a glass plate and I placed a teacup in the middle. More for decor, not really for how you'd set a table. And then I also displayed two of those little adorable teacups that I love over here. And there's gold silverware to bring out the gold teapot in the vignette. 
So I just wanted to set a sweet little display in front of my vignette. And I have one more little shabby chic vignette to show you. Okay, so here's display number two. This is a different way I set up a little mini vignette display for you. I'd love to know what you think. Let's get a closer look. So over here I have a teapot on a pedestal that I made with a couple roses and little mini crochet doilies surrounding the teapot. Behind it is a platter that I had thrifted. I think I got that for 99 cents. And a little geranium and a little pot. And yes, I did use that same runner. It just seemed perfect for this display. Over here, I took those sweet teacups and I stacked them so that you can really get a good view of them. Two in the front, three in the back, and I added a little rose and some white ribbon to the side of the basket. To the basket, I just surrounded the basket with lace. I love the look of lace in shabby chic design. Here is a close-up of the picture that's up above. It seemed very vintage to me and I loved the look of it with shabby chic design. So I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little shabby chic display. I happen to love this style, it's one of my favorites. I'd love to know what you think. Leave me a comment whether you liked the first one or the second one. And I'd like to thank um, Antoinette for having this and Indiana Jones for being the co-host. And please subscribe if you like my content. I'd love to have you join my Cozy Cottage family. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.